Hey there guys, Qwerty Afro here with another video for you today. A little bit special, um, shout out to uh, JV Ong Salvador for a recommendation that I should try this game called uh, Nord Swid Linear The Game, or translation into English, North South Line The Game, The Exper Experience The Ride. I do believe this is a Amsterdam Metro Simulator and I think it is actually it was done by the actual company that are actually in charge of making this uh, actual real life metro that is actually still being built. It's a new metro in Amsterdam. I do believe it's line M52. From what I've watched of the videos, the line itself is not actually in service. I do believe, I still believe they're testing trains on the route. Uh, there are new stations that have been built in Amsterdam on this line and the line actually isn't still operational or maybe I might be wrong but I have read in like videos and stuff and comments I've seen of people commenting on this uh, on this Amsterdam uh, metro route is that the line still hasn't been open. I think it's going to be open near the end of this year So it's a new metro line basically the M the Amsterdam government or um, Amsterdam Council City Council where however it works there they basically built this new metro line to be incorporated into their uh, into their existing metro and basically the company also made a simulator so you can experience the ride on the Nord Zweed Linie if I'm saying that right basically north south metro line I think it is also the name of it. it's the M52 metro line I do believe anyone from Amsterdam can correct me or give me more information down in the comments below I would love to know more because I was tempted I I saw a comment can, he just said uh, this uh, JV Ong Salvador just said can you play Nord Zweed Linear the game and I was like oh that sounds weird I don't know what obviously it meant because obviously it's in uh, in a uh, is it <sighs> Amsterdam's in the Netherlands, right? So is that Danish? It's in, um, yeah, that's Danish, right? I, I don't know. Someone will correct me down below. I really apologize if you're from Amsterdam or from the Netherlands. Is that the Netherlands as well? I, I don't know. I'm, my geography is really bad, so please do not judge me. But basically, uh, I was curious. I looked online. I, I saw that it was it was this Amsterdam Metro thing. I was like, okay, but where's the game? I then found the web page to the game, and I downloaded it. So it's available for uh, Windows and Mac as well. I'll leave the link down below. Everything's in Danish, though, I do believe, but it's just a download link, and you download it, and you just open it up, and you play. It's very simple. I'll also t walk you through some of the controls. There's not many, so you guys can get on and have a ride yourself on this Amsterdam. New, new, the uh, Amsterdam's... Uh, Metro's newest to be opened line very soon. Uh, there's two options to play. There is the uh, Nord Swede, which is north to south, or Swede to north. I'm going to do in this first video, and then I'll do another video at some point later on, um, a south to north. Uh, root version. There is also start demo which just opens up a link to a, a to a YouTube uh, video that is playing the game so that's nothing really and then also before you open before the game opens it opens into this kind of like Windows box and you can basically adjust the controls like map it out to whatever change the resolution of the screen or whatever but we want to get into the game before we do the shouts go to UK Train Videos and Maniac Gaming 2016. That's again UK Train Videos and Maniac Gaming 2016. If you would like a shout out or if you would like to request me a game or something in like one of my games that I do play, like a skin for OMSI, a map for OMSI, a bus for OMSI, or a scenario for Train Sim, etc., or a new game completely, or if you want to ask me a question that I'm going to be doing in my QA series, please do. Uh, have a look in the description both to the link to the QWERTY forms where you can submit your name and your link to your channel or whatever you want me to promote. Uh, down below, a link to the QWERTY forms where you can fill out all in, you can fill out your uh, shout out request, a request for a video or a, a question to the Q&A series. Let's get in, let's just start this game. It will just tell you here, give you a little breakdown of what the controls are, I will go, give you a breakdown as well. Um, once we actually get into the game. So we start, it instantly starts up, we're in this uh, train, I don't know what uh, stock of train this is. Uh, we're just going to head out right now. 
Now, to move the train, you're going to either be using the up arrow and the down arrow, and you adjust the speed in 5 mile per hour intervals, or 5 kilometer per hour intervals. I don't know what it is in, because it doesn't actually have a unit next to it. And essentially, you're controlling it like that, so it's not any kind of gradual thing, you're literally controlling a static speed. Station Nord. And what's cool is that you get um, some announcements as well. I'm going to stop a little bit here because I know the train's just a little bit shorter than the platform. And then you press space. When you come to a stop, you press space bar. And the doors open. And passengers walk on. Now, if you press control, you go into a walking mode. And then you use WASD and you can walk around. Uh, there's obviously no models and stuff that walk into the train. There's actually no wheels and whatnot in the train. This is a very standard kind of simulator, nothing too complex. I think it was just made for people, the public, maybe to try out and see what the new line will be like. Uh, I don't think any of these countdowns or whatever work, but I think it's a, for like a really basic simulator, it's very nicely mapped out and good models and whatnot. Now, right now, there's going to be like a minus 10 dropping down because it says I need to depart right now. So we're going to... We don't actually have to, have to walk back to the cab. All I do to go back into the cab is I just press control again. And then we press space bar to, cl uh, to close the doors. And then we just uh, increase the speed up. And we don't want to go above 80 because it will then uh, deduct uh, points from our score. So if you're late, it takes points off your score. And if you overspeed, it will take points of your score. Uh, and then score, but scoring is basically you just have to arrive early at the stations and you need to collect the timestamp when you depart the station. So it's a nice little kind of thing. Um, I've, I haven't played the full route. I think I got up to halfway of the route or whatever, but I have to say it's a nice little play around simulator. It's nothing too like spectacular, but it's a nice little simulator. Very much reminds me of Metro Simulator and the uh, Rotterdam Metro. But um, obviously this is Amsterdam's metro, and it'd be Rotterdam and Amsterdam in the same country, right? If I'm if I'm talking sense here, if I know my geography, Amsterdam and Rotterdam are in the Netherlands, and I think Rotterdam's the capital. I think <laughs> I'm not too sure. I think it's the capital. Um, maybe Amsterdam is. I don't know. I'm really bad with my geography, so I do I don't do I don't do geography. I do geology, so I don't really care about what's on the map, like uh, a map with all the names. Station Noorderpark, uitstappen, linkerzijde. I like uh, those announcements, which is cool. I like the kind of flying score and whatnot. It's very kind of arcade-like, but it's, uh, it's all right. All right, gonna speed up a little bit. I do believe we're going underground now. And I like that you get a nice little CCTV cam just to see behind the train as well, which is really nice, even though it kind of inflates up and turns big when you once you stop them and open the doors, which is really nice. Next station is Central Station. Gonna get names that are sort of similar to what we see in Metro Sim, because obviously Metro Sim is based on like Danish uh, um, Danish names, maybe based around Rotterdam, I guess. I don't know, or any other kind of Danish city. So it's pretty cool. But I've watched some videos of the testing of this new route. It looks very cool, very modern, how it's all done up. And uh, uh, the trains are very cool. They're all walk through trains. Uh, they sound very cool as well, very high tech. And the route just itself just looks very cool and very modern and whatnot. The stations are gorgeous and, you know, just. Very, you know the kind of standard modern concrete station that you get these kind of uh, these kind of days. Very uh, everything looks really new and it's really nice. All right. To be honest, I don't even have to. I can go into this station 75. Central and station. I can. Uitstappen I can. Rechterzijde. I can just slow down really quickly because it's static, so I don't have to worry about the speed. This is cool. I'm going to try and depart before it gets down, so I'm going to close the doors now. And off we go. I do, some of the modelling and stuff is all, is pretty good for this kind of game. Obviously, it's not meant to be like a commercial uh, simulator for people to just like... It's just a, it's an experience, and 
it's a pretty good kind of like free kind of uh kind of feels like a kind of corporate kind of simulator where like a company's made it just uh, maybe to show off to the public or show off to investors i don't know or whatever but um it's cool that you can down the public can download it for free and it's not just tied to people that live in amsterdam like i can download it. anyone around the world can download it so it's nice and i thought it's something different a little bit you know funky and uh i thought i'd uh, bring it to the channel rockin Station Rokin. Uitstappen. Linkerzijde. You can see there, minus 10 now coming down. And the 10s will just cancel out now. Right. Hopefully we can get to the next station a little bit on time. It's it's quite a fast paced service, I have to say. I don't know if this is like it is it will be in real life, but it's uh it's very fast and uh it's cool. But tell me guys what you think. Again, the link will be down below for this uh uh free kind of demo-ish kind of simulator game for you guys to try out if you wanna have a have a look. It is free, so just go ahead and download it and have a play around it so it's quite nice i thought like you know i was, I was contemplating if i'd do a video on it but i kind of did like it and i think you guys uh, would like it as well and i'm just exposing it out there because i'm guessing mostly mostly people from amsterdam know about this and not really many people elsewhere so station vijzelgracht uitstappen linkerzijde vijzelgracht wow Oh, there's a bit of music playing. <laughs> there's a bit of music playing, that's so cool. <laughs> anyway, the buttons on the thing uh, as well, you can click them as well. This button is the one to go into walking mode, but you can just press control for that. That's for the doors, but you can just press spacebar for that. Uh, this button mutes the sound. And this button turns off the security camera. And that's basically it. There's no kind of uh, kind of complexities with this game. It's not an advanced simulator. It's just a you know a simulator to show off. You know. Station de pijp. Uitstappen linkerzijde. There we go. Let's just Hop out. Stand clear. Good, a little bit on time, which is good. And I think it also shows you how many people are getting off and how many people are going to get on at the next station. So apparently 20 people are going to get off at, at Euro Pat Plane. And uh, 24 people are going to board us at uh, Europa Plane, which is some nice handy statistics. Um, I don't think the train in real life will uh, tell you that. If it did, that's pretty, like, cool. I don't know what computer software will be able to detect people trying to board off a train and board onto a train. That would be, like, insane. Or maybe everyone in Amsterdam has a chip inside them and the metro system just can tell. <laughs> That would be funny. Come into Europa Plain. Station Europa Plain. Rai Convention Center. Uitstappen rechterzijde. Come on guys, board on. Board on this M52 train. And our next station, oh, I'm going a little bit too fast. The next station is Zood, which I think is the last station. Like, it's 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 the last station and the first station are called North and South, which is kind of funny as well. Because <laughs> that's what the line is called, so, you know. Can't, there's no movable camera in the cabs, just static as well, so... Nothing really much to really expect. I don't think there's going to be anything else added to this game, so 
Um, the only other kind of video I can do is the return journey, which I'll do at some point. But then uh, please do not ask me, oh, can you play this game again? Because there's nothing else I can do in it. It's not like Metro Sim. <laughs> but it's, uh, it was a nice little find. And thank you very much to JB Ong the Salvador for the uh, recommendation uh, in... Um, in the comments in my uh, previous Metro Sim video. Station Amsterdam Zuid. Terminal Station. Uitstappen rechterzijde. Doors ah. open on the right hand side. Oh, look Train connection to Schiphol Airport. Bit of English there, I see. Hmm. Now there is a piggy bank thing here. I think it's like a little mini game or something that you can walk down to and collect. If I do that. And I think, what does it do? There, it gives you a thousand points. <laughs> so we've we've been redeemed. <laughs> Fabulous. That was, that was pretty good, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it. You can see these are the actual trains they're using in real life. I do believe in real life the doors are orange, not uh, red, I think. Um, but again, anyone from Amsterdam, please give me some more info and stuff down below in the comments. I'd love to hear because this is uh, quite fascinating and quite new to me. So uh, I think that is it. I think if I close the doors, I don't think I can go anywhere. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. It just finishes. So there we go. It tells me my score. I don't read Danish, so I don't know what each of those things are, but I'm guessing they're points for speeding or uh, timings and stuff like that. And that our end score, which I can kind of uh, translate, is 919. I don't know if that's good or bad or average, but uh, it was fun. Again, uh, the link for this Nord Zud Lean the game experience the ride, a uh, basic kind of simulator, whatnot. The link for it will be down below. Definitely download it and have a little play around with it. It's quite fun and uh, quite cool. As this is the representation, I think, for the kind of experience, whatever, for the line M52, which is being added to the Amster Amsterdam metro system, and it's still not. I don't think it's, I, as I said in the beginning of the video, I don't think it's actually out yet. Um, I think they're still testing on it and still building up stuff for it. So uh, it's a relatively new line to the city. So it's pretty cool. And they made a little simulator for it. Gave a little check out. Thank you to JV Young Salvador for the recommend. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that's that's it. I don't have anything else I can say really about this game, but uh, it was a nice little treat for me to, you know, a little gem there just to, you know, just try out. It's not the most advanced simulator, but it was fun. I liked it. It had some pretty good modelled stations, and the stations are pretty modelled, uh, pr pretty accurate actually to real life, because I've watched some actual real life videos of testing footage on the line. So it's pretty good. Well, shout outs again for this video go to UK Trains Videos and Maniac Gaming 2016. That's again UK Train Videos, Maniac Gaming, and Maniac Gaming 2016. The links and stuff will be down below. Show them some love. Hope you guys enjoy this little one of a treat. Again, the return journey will be done at some point. I don't know when, but uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have a play around with it. Tell me your thoughts in, that in, your, in the comments down below if you've played it or whatnot. And I will see you guys in another video. Take care. See you next time. We ain't never given up cause